we don't do something within the next 10 years, it's going to be just too late. If you really get people fired up about something, then they'll do it. The bigger group is going to have more power to have the ideas pushed forward. And it's obviously, we, are, we live in a finite planet, so... It means that I need to protect what, what I happen to love. The Youth Climate Summit at the Wild Center is two days of workshops and lectures where uh, we have 28 teams here from schools across the North Country, colleges and high schools, just talking about creative solutions to climate change and how we can get our message out and make changes in our schools. And then the second day, you are given time and you are given tools and you are given ideas to make your own plan. Uh, students get together and create climate action plans for their institutions, um, which will uh, encourage their institutions to become carbon neutral. Uh, in many cases, sometimes sort of smaller steps like getting into recycling or creating a, a green team or developing a campus garden. And it is such a great feeling to have passionate people around you and be in this environment where everyone is so excited to be here and they all want to accomplish the common goal. The Youth Summit is, is a spectacular event. It's eye-opening on so many levels. It's in this beautiful facility that they so graciously let us use. It gives us a chance to sort of share what institutions are doing, um, you know, high school to high school, college to high school, college to college. From a teacher's perspective, this is the greatest thing that I do every year because we get to walk away with a plan for our district and students are extremely inspired and motivated to work towards positive change. And then at the end, right now, everyone is meeting and we're talking about ways to bring it back to our school. We've also gone to our school board and presented great ideas to them, which they've, they've fallen in love with. Yeah, the energy is contagious and it creates a word of mouth epidemic amongst us. We go back and we share with those that have not been here, try to create the passion and the excitement. It, it, there's, there's no, we can't do this here. The word can't is not in the Climate Summit vocabulary. Definitely like the just like the growing enthusiastic interest in trying to decrease our um, carbon footprint. I think that's something that's really like uniting everyone here. I mean, like I said, it educates people and it's just gonna help everyone change. I'll try to change. It's something that if every kid in this, in this country could experience, they'd love it just as much as I do. I think more students should get involved so we can, because we're the future changed my life a little bit because I didn't really know what I wanted to be when I grew up. That was kind of answered when I came here and I realized I don't really have any other option. This is what I need to do. This, this is my purpose here.